Alright guys, so today isn't an art video like I usually do. I'm trying to expand my videos, but today is a dyeing my own hair video. This side is soon to be pink. Look at my cat. I wish we could get matching hairstyles. Dye half of her pink. <laughs> she cute though. I'm not gonna bleach my hair myself. I don't trust myself well enough to do that. And I'm also trying to grow my hair out, so I'm not trying to damage it too much obviously bleaching is like one of the most damaging things you can do to your hair but that's why i get like highlights done now instead of just full bleach because i used to do full bleach put a picture picture up of that and then at one point one of my old friends dyed the underneath of my hair like at home and i can put a picture of that up and that was extremely damaging because I had to slowly, slowly work my way up to, to getting the pink out because it was permanent pink dye. And if you've ever had permanent pink hair, it's crazy. So I'm going to semi-permanent dye this side. You can see with this because of all the bleach to like get the semi-pink out. You can see like the breakage under here. Like there's a lot. I don't know if I can pull all of it out, but there's a lot of breakage. Like, it looks like I had an undercut, but I never had an undercut. And you can see that the reason why it's long enough is because it's it's not bleached at the ends, which is why it was able to grow out. So maybe this is a bad idea, but I want pink hair really bad. And I've never had split dye hair, so I'm excited to try that out. Yeah, my roots, they're pretty grown out. So tomorrow, actually... I'm gonna have an appointment to get the roots touched up. Then we'll go to Sally's Beauty, a semi-permanent pink dye. I'll try to dye half of my head myself. I can dye my hair myself, but I don't think I can bleach my hair safely myself. This is how my hair looks now. I don't know if it's just me, but I have this here, which looks kind of damaged. I don't know. Like, I don't know if these are just baby hairs or if it's damaged but they're there <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. i hope this doesn't fall this is the best angle i could get without like crashing the car okay I'm on the way to my hair appointment right now i'm very excited i don't know what kind of youtube videos i want to make honestly so i had a specific niche of making just art videos but i don't want to only do that like i do want to do it sometimes because it's fun but i also just like recording myself doing stuff like maybe in the future i could do a makeup tutorial or getting new piercings because i love piercings <laughs> if you guys want a makeup tutorial you let me know i'm here it's time to go in <laughs> You know you're doing a good job in your hair care when your stylist says that your hair looks healthy and feels healthy. This is the color after the appointment. I don't like the way it's styled, so I'm, well, I kind of do, but like, I have a specific way in styling it, so I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna damage my hair a lot today. Like, today is the damaging of my hair. So this is the end of me styling it. Yeah, the bangs are fine now, <laughs> but this is how I styled it. I don't know how that, I did not look at the bag, so I hope the bag looks good. My plan as of right now is to just let the blonde just sink in for a bit, like this kind of blonde, and then I will go get the, I'm gonna get Manic Panic Pink because that's what my hairdresser suggested for the semi-permanent pink dye, and I'll see you guys then, cause it'll, it'll probably be a bit, I don't know. But I kind of want it now. We'll see how long time passes. I'm obsessed with this though. Maybe I, should I keep the bangs? 
because they look good when I do them right. But then they look bad when they're not styled. All right, so I'm at Sally's. Get that pink dye. I'm so excited. I got two. I'm really debating if I should do this tonight because I really like how the blonde looks, but also like I've been wanting this for so long. I got cotton candy pink. I was gonna get hot hot pink and then mix it with pastelizer, but they didn't have the pastelizer. So I just got cotton candy pink. Hope this stuff washes out. <laughs> like all the way. I think I'm just gonna do it. So I'm gonna section out my hair first and I'm gonna do that off camera because I have to make sure that it's perfect. So I'm gonna need to be taking pictures of the back and stuff. So here's how the parting looks. There it is think it's good. I didn't get a mixing bowl or a brush. I'm just gonna use my hands in this. So I have these three things to use to section my hair. Start with an underneath section. Like, is this good? This is what I've seen people do. They like flip it over and then they clip it like this. Let's open this up. What? How is that possible? Oh, it smells good. Should I dip my hair in it? Maybe that's a bad idea see it. Should I not have gotten cotton candy pink? Is this not gonna show up on my hair? I'm gonna make sure it's on every single hair strand. This better show up on my hair, that's all I'm saying. Because I watched videos of people doing this and it came out way lighter in the videos. Or way like more neon. Is this gonna be a fail? It's like turning white in my hands. I look kind of emo, like tonight will be the night. With this little section going on. I think this section's good. I thought I put a bobby pin. Did I not put a bobby pin in? I took the bobby pins out, but I never actually put any of them in. So I need to make sure that it's perfectly split. No imperfections here. I've just seen so many hair fails that I'm scared I'm gonna have a hair fail. I guess what I should have done is gotten the cotton candy pink and then gotten the hot hot pink and like mixed them together. Feels like I'm putting slime in my hair. Slime tutorial, no borax. <laughs> you did not see that, but I almost just knocked all the hair dye into the sink. It's so slippery now, I can't. Okay, this was uh, too tiny of a section. It smells like my childhood, and I don't know how else to explain it. You know what? It probably just takes time to like seep into the hair and actually work, which is probably why I'm not seeing like the color right now. Cause it, it needs to seep in. It is saturated, let me tell you that. It's obviously it's fine, why would it not, why would it not be fine? I'm almost out of this. I'm so pissed off right now. This is not showing up. If it, well, I guess I shouldn't be mad until I see the final result. I'm gonna be back in like an hour to rinse it out. I rinsed it out and this is how it looks. It doesn't look promising, but I'm gonna blow dry it and see what happens. I'll show you what it looks like dry. So this is how it turned out. It just, it doesn't even look like I freshly dyed it. It just looks like I have very faded out hair. I haven't seen what it looks like from the back. It's still kind of wet. Not a fan. I mean, I'm a fan of the concept because once this is brighter, it's gonna look really cool. So my plan is next time I'm able to dye my hair because I don't have time anymore right now is dye it. Mix it with this because I got another one. And then I have this color me pink conditioner which is like this. So I think mixing these two together and then putting on, putting it on my hair will look good. So we're back at it again. And now that it's like fully dry, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm definitely gonna fix it. So I've got these two things. I've got my mixing bowl and my spoon. I think I'll just dump the whole thing in the bowl because I wanna just redo my whole half. I don't know why this is so hard for me. Let's dump it in. See, this is what my hair should have looked like. I accidentally just dumped it out. <laughs> I'll put some of this in there, if I even can. 
I'm gonna need both hands for this. I'm just gonna go little by little. So there it is. It looks very weird. Let's mix it in. I don't know how much I should mix in. Let's make it better. <gasps> I keep almost like dumping it. Just a little more. Because I really want this to show. That was a lot more. Uh, let's just hope. If it looks like this on my head. Oh, this is such a pretty color though. I think what I did was fine. God, I hope this looks good on my hair. One can only hope. I'm gonna time lapse it this time because I wanna listen to music while I'm doing this. saturated i don't know what is it's definitely more pink and i'm excited about the result and this is how much i had left last time i like didn't have any left i'll come back whenever i have it rinsed out so it's rinsed out and now i'm gonna blow dry it. all right are you ready for the review here it is i love it i've always wanted split dye and i have it my dream is basically come true. I wish this was a little more bright, but next time I re-dye it, I'll probably just add more hot pink to it. I'm gonna show it from the back. Like putting it up is gonna look super cute. I'm just obsessed with it. And every time I style my bangs right, I don't wanna grow them out, but it requires heat for them to look good. Otherwise it looks bad. So, I don't know, but I really like this look. More pink. What if I dyed my whole head? Joking, probably would never do that. But I also said I'd never split dye my hair, so who knows. Now I'm gonna do a comparison from the beginning, middle to end of the hair. Pretty cool transformation if you ask me. Thank you guys for watching and this lovely beautiful creature i'd like to tell you goodbye bye